Well, this spring uh, I targeted some big tench and uh, I've always loved tench, but being a quite a serious carp angler for the last decade, of course the tench season always kind of comes at the best time of the carp season. So this spring it was like, I want a big tench more than anything. And uh, they were first on my list. So I read a lot of books over the winter, got the inspiration, started to think about how I caught them by accident when I was a carp angler, how my friends had caught them. And I wanted to sort of combine uh, kind of modern tench fishing with, with what I've learned from my carp fishing uh, to try and be successful. And uh, in the end, lots of effort, and uh, I got a bit of success. Now this is the mix which I used for spawning and it would be also a feeder mix. And uh, there's a little, there's, there's several bits to it. Uh, looks maybe a little bit, it's not complicated, but you know, it's not the simplest mix. But again, these tench, they want quality food. Trust me, you can't go in just with a tin of corn, some luncheon meat nowadays. You're competing against some really good anglers, a lot of them on carp waters. So here we go. The bulk of it, Fish frenzy, spod mix. There's lots of bits of pieces in this. You've got hemp, fish meal, little pellets. And this is basically the binder, but it's not, you know, it's not just a, a breadcrumb ground bait what people might have used. I mean, you know, one of my friends, he said, I'll just use some layer. They used to just use layers, mash pellets with some, you know, lake water on. It's not like that now. You've got to go fine dining. So give them the best stuff. Plenty of that in there. So that's kind of the bulk of it. Again, depend, I usually mix it up on the morning and it's gonna depend on the conditions, whether I make a bucket full or I just make enough for a few spawns. I can always make a few more, quickly make a mix up. Next in there is some hemp. Uh, tench are really attracted to hemp. Uh, I don't think they actually love crushing it so much, but they keep picking it up. You know, it's something that's going to stay in the swim, which is what you want. I don't go mad with it, and I want the liquid as well. A good couple of handfuls of hemp. And then we're going to put something in that's very natural. And uh, to be honest, all fish love this. Uh, but it's got a lovely sort of fresh prawny smell and it's frozen hill krill. The other thing is with this fresh krill, it's, it's, it's quite different. I've not seen many uh, sort of specimen anglers use it, all carp anglers to be fair. And I think the ones that use it don't shout too much about it because it's a little bit of an edge. So a good handful of krill. Talking of natural baits, so tench love worms, they absolutely love worms. So I'll buy like a nice bag. These are uh, dendrobenas and they'll go in with the soil and they'll get chopped up as well with some worm scissors, messy job, but I will chop them up. Good couple of big handfuls of worms. Right, liquids. Hemp oil, to be fair, most species I fish for, I rate it that highly, it has to go in. It's gonna give you those flat spots when the tench are feeding on your, on your area. And it's just, it's just a, you know, it's so nice. Good glug of hemp oil. And then this is one of my favorite, favorite liquids, full of amino acids, liquid digested fish, very pungent, don't need lots of it but the tench love it. I was feeding a spot on one gravel pit and I'd gone a bit mad with this stuff, uh, probably over, and, and they were just churning the bottom up and it pretty much, it was this, you could tell they were rooting for. Give it a good mix up. Scissors in. With this mix, one of the, I don't like the word secret, but one of the edges I think with it is making it dark. I want it to be really dark. I want it to stink. I want it to be full of all those 
you know, all those attractive amino acids, oils, you got vitamins, minerals, textures, but I want it to be dark. I don't want it to be on that lake bed shouting at the fish. There's no corn in this. A really good uh, tench angler, uh, he sort of said to me, don't put the corn in. I mean, tench love corn, but I will fish a piece of corn over the top of this. I don't want it in there. I want this to be dark. One thing I'll add to darken it off, and uh, it's, it's one of them like worst kept secrets, but it's worse, it's worm castings. It's basically compost from a worm farm. Uh, really dark. Obviously it's been digested by worms. Uh, a lot of people believe it's, you know, it's still got obviously the, the attraction from the worm in it. But I will add that and I'll darken it off. If you, if you haven't got any of this, you know, use, use the, 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 the soil that the worms come in or use, uh, when I was a kid, I used to use molehills. We've got one behind us. Quite happily put that in as well. Put some mud in it. Darken it off. The only thing I would add to this, and it depends on the venue, uh, if there was a lot of nuisance fish, I probably wouldn't, but I would add some casters to that on some lakes, especially if I, if I thought I had a lot of fish in front of me. Tench do love casters, but saying that less is more sometimes, and uh, when you're fishing for big tench, you, you don't want to be getting you know bothered by nuisance fish, just like when you're carp fishing. If there's a lot of bream there, less is more sometimes. Uh, so over the top of that, so I use a feeder rig with that. Uh, you could use a method feeder, but I like a simple feeder, plug it in helicopter style. And again, if nuisance fish, you can fish with uh, two fake maggots. You could, if they're allowed, you could use uh, lob worms, the, the sections, worm kebabs. Uh, but again, perch can be a pain, roach can be a pain. I've found tench absolutely love these little, I think most carp anglers know, you know, they've all caught a tench on a Northern Special. These little mini ones are superb. I've caught on the black ones over that as well. So don't be afraid to put a dark one. That's what they're eating. Nice little Northern Specials. The other thing, again, will be a piece of corn, plastic corn, single or double. Little pot of that, and that's flavoured up with pineapple and a sweetener. And that just sits in my tackle box. And I don't know how many fish I've caught on that, but uh, that's what I fish over the top for a big tench.